I'm Reuters columnist James Saft. The Federal Reserve sat on its hands today, keeping monetary policy exactly the same. In fact, when I got a look at the statement, I thought someone at the Fed had messed up and reset the statement from last time. It looks incredibly similar. On the face of it, this is a little bit confusing because even the Fed admits that economic activity is going down a bit, that unemployment is only slowly healing, and that inflation is at or below where they would ideally like to see it. So it's unclear why they're not doing it, but one thing that this makes us think is that tomorrow's ECB meeting is going to be incredibly important. The Fed doing nothing puts a lot of pressure on the ECB. You'll remember that Mario Draghi hinted last week that the ECB would come through with something to support the euro. Everyone assumed that meant bond buying. If the ECB shows up tomorrow and does nothing, it will be taken very, very poorly by financial markets. That's why I think we've seen not a heck of a lot of reaction today because people know that the real action is going to be on Thursday when the ECB acts. As for the Fed, this sets up a long month of August where we're not going to get a lot of news and where people are going to be hoping that something comes along to make us believe in QE3 again. We may have to wait until Jackson Hole at the end of the month when the Fed traditionally announces new policy initiatives. But my worry would be at least from the point of view of risk assets, it's a long time between now and then, and there are a lot of ways things could get difficult.